Hey guys, this is VRay91, and I'm talking about the PS5 and the Xbox Project Scarlet. Now, I was watching Review Text USA video, and apparently, a former IGN editor was talking about how the stats compare to the Xbox and the PS5. I'll connect the person in the industry. He was he's at Game Informer. He's been there forever. Where he had been hearing rumors, and I have been hearing stuff like this too, but I, I really don't know if it's true that the next PlayStation is definitively more powerful than this. That hmm. people that have access to both builds for making games are saying the PlayStation is more powerful. Now that yeah. is a scary notion to me because if a machine is running a game at 120 frames and 8K, I just don't believe that that's even possible. I think you have to choose one or the other. Otherwise, this machine is going to be extremely expensive. And if PlayStation 5 can do even better than this, and I don't think they're saying they can do better than 120 or 8K, but if it's more powerful, then how much are these machines going to cost? And I'm a little concerned about that myself because here's the thing. We have graphic cards like the GTX 2080 that struggle to do 4K at 60 frames per second, yet these want to do 8K, and if I recall, at 120 frames per second. So how is that possible? There, there is no way when we have the high-end graphic cards struggling to do 4K at, at like 60, with ray tracing obviously, because these new ones will have ray tracing, I believe, that the consoles are going to be able to pull off 8K at 120. It's just not happening in my opinion. Unless these consoles are going to be like $1,500 consoles. You can't even say like $1,000 because the GTX 1080 in them, just the card is really expensive. And that's not even including everything else you need. So I just don't see this happening at what they're saying. 8K at 120 frames, not going to happen in my opinion. Now 4K... I could see that, and I could see that at like a $500 price, which I don't think these consoles will be more than $500, because based on the past, people will not be buying a lot of these consoles if these consoles are more than $500, just based on what people expect. People expect like $500 to be the maximum they pay for a console, like when it first comes out, so I just don't see these consoles being any more than $500. $499, just, I'll, that's, I'll call it right now. These consoles, they'll somehow find it to get it to $499. And it will not render 8K at 120 frames per second. That's my opinion. Because I don't see them bringing out these consoles and being able to run that. And being able to sell the consoles for a decent price point. And without the decent price point, these consoles could render at 5D, 300 FPS, 45K. And if it costs $3,000, almost no one will buy it. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that these consoles are actually going to be able to render at 8K, 120 FPS, and be a reasonable price? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.